At the Blooming Sunshine Garden, everything that we grow is edible. In order for our food to grow, we have to also have pollinators. We're feeding all the bees and the pollinators, but then meanwhile, they're helping feed us and pollinate our plants. I have people weekly during the summer sending me photos of monarchs that have been in their garden, learning how humans are impacting this. In the city, we need these urban gardens to really help monarchs have a space where they don't have to fly too far to get to the next food source. This really impacts sustainability and creating a resilient urban landscape. Every yard that you replace with pollinator plants, it's healthy for the water system. It has deep tap roots that really capture more rainwater. The soil is being repaired. And people are making sure that they choose plants that are healthy to begin with. The whole ecosystem is a part of this. Even just having a couple summer plants that are pollinator friendly, you can start small, but every little bit helps. I am an environmentalist. I really want to do what I can to make sure we are conserving the natural land as much as we can. There's another big part of it too is that monarch butterflies overwinter in Mexico and my father is from Mexico. And so there's kind of this migration path that's similar to my own family. And I think it's so important to remember that we are always a part of a larger part of the world and the monarchs really show us that we can do what we can here but we still have to work across the nation.